very, very oh. dangerous opponent. Yes, that, la that last match, it literally down to wire, it, it was the last final, final round. Yeah. He's able to compete and keep up with this level, so it's going to be very interesting to see how he deals with Elisa, actually. I'm guessing, who are we going to think we're going to see Chanel I'm pick? guessing we're going to see Elisa again. You know, the, the Pakistanis play Zafina a lot, Gustin Mead, Aslan, Awes yeah. Liakad. So many guys there play uh, Zafina, so I don't suppose we're going to see that. Um, he also has an Eliza, but they have Eliza players yeah. there too. Gustin Mead again, Hamraz, shout out to you, my brother. He also has an Eliza too, so I mean, it's not to say that he can't use those characters. I'm just saying that Elisa would be the best choice. <laughs> yeah, well, he's probably... For right. Chanel, personally, Yeah, as definitely well. for Chanel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are we going to see that Steve? Or are we going to see that Puma? Okay, so it looks like it's... Okay, so we're going with Elisa. Okay, so we're going to Elisa, Steve. <coughs> yep, this is what we want to see. This That's is what we want to see. see. Yes, there we go. You could definitely see he is a Steve specialist, like we saw before, with combos that he was doing and the situational awareness from the stage. Yeah, definitely, man. So here we go. We're going to have Elisa versus Steve. Yes, losers finals actions here. Pakistan versus Korea. Going to the souk. Loser goes home. This is a first of three, though, so there's a little bit of time to adapt. Yeah. You know, draw first blood, get the advantage in the stage pick. For sure, for sure, for sure. How many times we've seen in the older games where first of three was the norm, man? We've seen two... 0-2, oh then three, three match comeback happens back. so often. But here we go, Steve versus Elisa. No Kuma out here, bro. We're keeping it halal here in the souk. <laughs> Let's go. Starts off with a shove. Okay, opens up with a chainsaw. Okay, so he's going for that parry. That um, That's a punch parry for highest. Yo, here I just chain sponsors all of a sudden. He's Kanga, man, not GG. Okay, nice, I'll stand in. One, two. Yeah. Nice block. You want to be a little bit slow there with the while standing four. The, the pressure. Uh, this is this, this is exactly how Hero plays. He plays in your face, likes to push like the aggression, and play defensive at the same time. Yeah, that aggressive movement. Okay, he's getting out there. No, he has no, he has a lively great whiff and block punish. And oh, again, yeah, it was so weird. Even I think if um, at least that's the second hit, I'm sure Sonic fan will hit her out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can see that happening. Yeah, of course. Yeah, some some are option select. Some yeah. punishes. Yeah, that looked like an option select one for sure. <laughs> Hero such an aggressive C player. Look at nice. that. Nice. The 10 count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, nice. Well, standing. 1, 2. Oh, yeah. Superman punch. Hero just backing out. Playing that spacing game in a minute. Picking his point. That's a nice dash up into sidestep left. If you do want to sidestep against Steve, left is the way to go. Although he has some very, very solid tracking and homing moves. Okay, nice. Low parry. Great read there. Okay, get nice. to the wall. Okay, side wall splat does save life in this instance. Uses the rage drive now. What's the mix up? Trying to go for the mid. Down jab blocked again. He does defense. Looking so solid. Definitely there we so go. So solid. Catches Chanel coming in with a quarter second forward one. And we have to talk about it, man. How many times Chanel has lost the Steven tournament, man? He does not like this character at all. Yeah, well, I, me I remember it. it was in the mix up. He didn't want Need to pick Steve at yeah. all. Yeah, I remember that. He reset the bracket against Need, and then the Steve came in 3 0. And then, yeah, it was, it was, it was a wrap. Although that was season two, though. Uh, season three, Steve's still strong. Don't let the catch notes fool you, mate. Yeah, yeah. Don't let them fool you. Nice, cool carry. Touch good awareness to maximize that combo damage. Okay, goes for the low. Nice step there. A little bit slow, a little bit punish. Oh, doesn't know the punish. Oh, it's a new move. Maybe he hasn't read the patch notes just yet. I mean, some some characters have to like this because it's different options for it, right? You yeah. can go into the start or just do nothing. You have to have your options for it. Okay, side wall splat saving the life here. Uh oh, that's this may hit. actually be a punish. <laughs> Hero oh with the great awareness there, <laughs> and that's definitely going to be <laughs> dead. dead. It's, it's very unfortunate for Chanel, but it's great awareness for Hero to be able to wake up and. Notify this and go, okay, boom, this is gonna punish it. Yeah, one plus two, go yeah. straight for the rage art. I mean, it's a so most of these high rage arts are 13 frames, which means that you can use them as block and with punishes, which is exactly what Hira did there. Great awareness, as you said. Man, first match to, he to Hira. Wow, maybe Asim is right. Dude, right? I'm telling you, he came up to us right here in the back, said Hira's won this tournament. Just won, just won it. He's won yeah. it already, just give him the trophy. But infinite stage straight away here. This is it, man. This is exactly what Chanel does when he loses because he has more space to move well, around. Against, We've said it many, many times. Well, yeah. against Emma Wade's honey, it seemed like when he went for the infinite stage, that was favoring. I think he won both of the games on the infinite stage, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Great start there. Low parry. But it's kind of funny, right? When when Chikorin played against um, played against Hira, 
Um, I feel like Hira won a lot on the on the low wall stages. It was weird. But it's probably just something that um, Chanel just feels comfortable in at the minute. Just wants that space, able to back out when he wants, when he can, and not get um, caged in by the wall. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to be working here. Actually, never mind. He actually he won more on the wall stage. Oh. Either way, though, takes the first round here. Infinite Azure. Well, here is just looking so strong. If you guys haven't seen him before, this guy, one of the legendary Tekken players. Everybody in Pakistan was asking for him to get sponsored, and Kanga came, came clutch, picked him up, and there he is. Okay, nice, get out kick. Oh, nice switch shot. Power crush. power crush, nice. Block, gets a while standing one. It's only minus 13 now, which means that Steve won't be able to launch it with that power drive, uh, that raise drive. That, that quick up is so instantly. Yeah. Dashing in his face, peekaboo stance. Dashing oh, in his oh, face oh, again. Oh, nice. Tokyo drifting, holding the brakes there. At least up with the great duck. Yeah, very, very good. He didn't stop moving, man. That's the thing. Didn't get stuck in the mud. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay, nice punish for us one two. That actually hurts. It does. You know, and Elisa has some minus 11 lows, which you don't want to spam against Steve, man. Those no. minus 11, 11 frame punishes hurt a lot. Yeah. Okay, now, while standing four. Brings out the chainsaws again, plus frames. Okay, duck. Jab. Yep. Okay, once again in peak blue stars. What's the mix up? Oh man. Oh okay, yes, here we go. This time. Chanel. This should be dead. Let me not jinx it. Yes, yeah. just goes for the easy combo and the run into. Round four. Good Ch stuff there. Chanel showing why he opted to go for that Wooler stage. For sure, for sure. Utilize that movement. Gets nice. right to his back. He gets a counter hit. He's gonna be up. Yes, gets the conversion here. Very good trade there for Chanel. Big boy damage as well. Huge chunks. Okay, big, here we go. This guy does this comp. Okay, Oi. that was a bit of a commentator's curse there. But I say he does, does this in his sleep. Okay, he doesn't commit to the hop kick. Rage available. Needs to be very careful that Rage drives. Heroes and Steve's Rage drive that Sonic Fang. Oh, there it is. So strong in this season. Yeah, good patience from Chanel. Not to get hit by the frame trap. Down three, one more hit will do it. And there it is. Down four, so it seems like Chanel on these all the stages. Yeah. It seems to really benefit him. Well, even with Hira chasing him with the forward dash, forward dash, forward dash, Chanel didn't stop moving back. No. So the down back three whips, you know? Um, so it definitely helped him, but of course now Hira gets the opportunity to just pick that wall stage. Yeah, I, w I wonder what, I wonder you pick that, like, the smallest one. It'll be interesting to see what he's picked. What Dragon, is he comfortable Dragon's with? Nest, Violet Systems, Suk. Suk. Oh, nah, he, he wants him caged. <laughs> he, he ain't going nowhere. He wants him stuck in prison, 25 to life. Let's see if he can do it here, man. Steve versus Elisa, third game. Korea versus Pakistan. It's one game apiece here. This is the loser side, but it's first to three. So here we go, let's get started. One game apiece. Okay, on characteristic from non no yeah, break. Yeah, break there. Yeah. Oh, yes, get up kick there. Should be a full combo from Chanel, taking it closer to the wall. Okay, nice block. That would have been a big wall splat for huge damage. Okay, using that peek if you start. Oh, chance. Okay, gets off the wall. He's going to put him back on. No, okay. Stops the combo. Yep. Oh, just clipped out of the raise drive. That was very, very close to actually hitting Chanel. Very, very lucky there. Just taking the raise. Okay, nice block on the down back three. Uh huh. Chanel taking the advantage. Okay, nice. Dark punish. Yep. Okay, oh we're gonna gosh. get walls to wall. Okay. Miss times is okay though, and gets punished for it. Nice slow parry there. Here with a great read. That was sick. Yeah, he kind of picked him up there. Here really just good. answering back. Straight up. Straight why he's a Steve specialist. Steve specialist, man. I'm telling you, man. That's why I hate to see this guy use Akuma. But it's like he kind of feels like he has to, right? Oh, well, Akuma. So, like I said, you don't want to handicap yourself. Everyone needs to have that pocket Akuma. He's so yeah. strong. Been rocking Akuma all weekend, but right now going to the main character, Mr. Fox. He's using that down for one person and again. Such a great read on the low parry. Yep. He gets the low. Here we go. Oh, nice conversion sick. there. Got to the, the one normal, bro. bro. Yeah. Unbroken there from Chanel. Yes, she went into Peekaboo as well to make it look like it could be one plus two. Go back up against the walls. The mix up. Doesn't start the second hit. Nice. Finishes off with a down two. Zahira now. One round away from going up in the set. This is important for Chanel to actually try and get a win here because he needs to break the. It's like a tennis advantage thing. Yeah. He needs to break love. Break love, yeah. No, break point, that's what they call it. Hey, <laughs> okay, that ball wasn't confirmed. 
Good punish there from Chanel. Not getting hit by these counter hits, so Chanel doing a good job, but still has a life deficit. He's gonna have to commit to something. Using that down back three. That down back three is really good. Oh, oh, oh. No, he, he drops, drops it. Drops the combo. So that down back three is really good in this match because it's actually gonna go underneath the back ones. He won't really get counter hit. Yeah, true. Okay, nice down three. What's the stand up in there? That is safe. It is. Okay, oh, there's there a rage drive. Big damage here. Uses the chainsaw. Not punishable. Down back three. Oh, the rage drive. Just out of nowhere, just comes out with it. <laughs> Chanel having a quick look at his stick. Not sure if there was a missing put there or something, but here we go. Oh, I think he was opting. What? Stays change? Not sure what happened I there. I think he accidentally clicked rematch. That's what I think happened. Okay, so the uh, officials will come up to the stage to see what happened. Yeah, I think he accidentally hit rematch. Right. Yeah. So I think that's what just happened. He got a little bit too into it and accidentally pressed them. Um, yeah, so a bit, yeah. Of, a bit of a break in momentum here, but uh, we'll get that sorted very, very soon. Maybe he wanted to switch stage, as you said, but maybe he'll yeah. go for a character switch. Who knows? No, even the characters. I even forgot about that. Yes. Yeah. So now has many characters, but, but it's, it's his last chance. This is where whatever he picks now is gonna be. He's locked in. But I don't think he's playing bad release at all. It just seems like when he gets his back against the wall, that's when he struggles. So yeah. it's, it's 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 a hard thing because whatever happens, he's still gonna you know be caged in at the wall with yeah. any character he is. It's like I said, he needed to kind of break set in that and get the win there so he has the advantage when it comes to the last set and he yeah. can choose the wall the stage. I do believe he's going to go for the infinite stage. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the thing. Not going to change character. He will go. Elisa is his strongest character. I mean, we've, see, we've seen it before. And I think that Hira will be a lot more comfortable if he does choose Zafina or Eliza. Uh, just considering how popular the character is yeah. in Pakistan, right? I didn't um, actually realize how popular. It's only from when you were telling me that Zafina is so popular in Pakistan. I didn't have no idea. I only found out because it's like they, a lot of Pakistanis got angry with yeah. me. Because I was like, I was shitting on Safina a lot. Yeah, I know. Until, uh, I know. <laughs> you know, they I got, they got they really don't. angry. Uh, some, some, people, some of them still hate me, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Shout out to the sponsors Astro, the official headset of the Tekken World Tour. Get yourself one of the A40 headsets, man. I know you want one as well. Um, but yeah, cover them ears, good. man. Get that pristine sound. Exactly. Surround sound, all sorts. There we go. And just like you said, Babzi is gonna, just going to go for the uh, stage switch, Infinite Azure to have that space to move around. And he hasn't lost a match on this Infinite stage yet. No, I'm telling you, that's what it's, he's. It seems to really suit his play. And like you said, the least of movement, lateral movement, and back there well, is good. better. It's yeah. good, it's good. Super good, yeah. <coughs> so here we go. Chanel fighting to save his tournament life here. We're using those down back threes. Okay, guaranteed. Okay, that's not to get off. Big count here, here we go. He's gonna get the hard combo. Yeah, yes, he does, there we go. Okay, goes to the Nice punish. Yep. Oh, hits him right out that power crush. Of course, power okay. crush loses to lows. We got flash frames. What are you gonna do? Okay, chainsaws to the face. Nice. Go for the low. Oh, Ooh. the second hit. Clipped him out the race drive. Yeah. So unlucky because Chanel had the sidestep, made Kira whiff, but the second hit was just about enough to hit him. He's just dashing up in his face. Yeah. Kira's naturally quite ag an aggressive player. Always yes. wants to be in your face. Why not with Steve? Steve can really pit bull you. Yeah, for sure. Okay, down forward four, down forward four, down back freeze. Keeping it nice and simple. Okay. There we go once again. Yes, big boy combo. Drops it. Drops, Drops the easy, easy bit though. though. <laughs> Superman punch. Plus frames. Tries to stop him from stepping. Good defense there from Chanel. Well, Chanel a little parry that, but you know, gets the block instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, just a little bit out of range to punish that. Yeah. <laughs> 17 seconds at the clock. It's been a bit of a slow round here from Chanel. Changing up the timing a bit, bit a little yeah. bit. Very cautious in how they approach. Chanel has the 10 seconds, has the life lead as well. Needs to be very careful. Wow. Great block on the low there. That was a complete wow. guess as well, because he could have just run up into Rage Rides. Yeah. <laughs> just starts off with a big Joe Frazier. That can't hit back one. Very good. Okay, just right back at you, Superman Punch. Hero with the life lead once again. Nice punish, that's chunks. That was said it one, two. There we go, chainsaws are out. Up in the melee. Okay, nice patience there from Hero. Able to evade all of that chainsaw. Yeah. Okay, down back three. Does have the rage available, so he needs to be very careful of rage drive. Okay, just using his jabs to get in. Keep the yeah. pressure on Chanel. Man, Chanel with that rage drive, he's had such good accuracy with that rage drive as yes. well. But now Hero using the infinite stage to his advantage. Backing off, okay, back three. 
Oh, oh yes. Four, two from downtown, shoots the three pointer, and that should be the round. Great, great stuff there. The experience round showing out from Chanel here. Fight. Just shooting that down for two from downtown, they actually hit. Are we going to get a final match? Just like against the West Honey. Nice break. Okay, big whiff there, 4 4 2. Nice punish. Gets a down back two after. Okay, that's what I'm say. Down back two. Okay, here we have a commanding life lead yeah, here. He's had the life lead every round, I feel, in this match, but hasn't been able to close it out. Can he finish his food? Can he finish the falafel? We're here in Dubai. There we go. Do the thing. He's in rage, so he needs to be very careful of the rage drive. Could be a game changer here, the X factor of this match. He's just trying to shoot that down 4 2 from downtown again. It worked in the last round. There he is. There you Spence. go. Spence. There you go. Switch. And just while standing 1 2 here, here and now, on, on set, point. set point to make it into the grand final. Chanel fighting for his tournament life. Oh, yes, the delay. Second hit. Oh, counter hit. That's a new change in season three. Here we go. Kanga, Hira. Looking like he's going to be going to the grand finals unless Chanel can do something about it. Here we go. Does have rage. But here we've got all the space to work with and a full life bar. No block on the down three. Down back three, he's chipping away slowly but surely. He's cooking up something here, Chanel. He's cooking up something. Rage drive spent. Oh, great, we're punished. Nice oh my God, low here parry. We go. Low parry. Can Chanel get something started here? It's not over yet, Bubsy. It's not over yet. It's definitely not over. What's he going to do? Oh, Raise the chase up. Okay, plus frames. Oh. oh, gosh. Plus frames again. Goes to the mid option this time. Plus frames. And the down one. Hira is going to move into the grand finals against Away's Honey. Making it another 